breakfast at the Adrian house with a nice view. Good morning, it's day three. We're leaving Hannah's Skull, crossing over the river, leaving Ardrin House. Uh, had a lovely dinner here last night. We've got a 14 plus mile day today. traffic today. Okay, our first turn out of Anaskal. I'm not sure how long we're walking on the road, but we are for now. Look at the beautiful weather we got this morning. Um, looked at the weather for the rest of the week and it looks like there's rain in the forecast, but we've seen that too and it changes every day. So you just Never know what you're going to get, but we'll take what we can get for today. Making a turn, a right turn here, and still road walking for a little bit. So last night we stayed in Anaskal and the B&B &B that we stayed at was super nice. Another nice B&B. &B. Our hostess was John and Deidre. Um, but John was working on his own last night because his wife was in Dublin celebrating her retirement. Uh, and he did such a great job. He took our bags to our room. Our room was super nice. Um, you'll see those pictures at the end of yesterday, day two. But um, there was a, a restaurant right across the street, a restaurant pub. Um, I had pasta that was delicious. Lynn had a Caesar salad. Um, I'm starting to feel better. Finally got a good night's sleep last night. I had some chamomile before I went to bed two sleeping pills and then at 12 30 I woke up and took a melatonin gel so I woke up feeling way better today um, we're still see gonna see if we can see a doctor in the next town which is Dingle it's a little bit better to see if I can't get something for my nerves and in case I have another anxiety episode I think they're over but it'd be nice to have some backup just in case so, anyway, uh, things are going well, and we're, we're on our way back to the other side of the island. Um, you can see out there in the distance, the water. So, a tiny road so I like to stop and let people pass. I think that's about it. Um, the breakfast was included this morning. Um, no lunch but there is a lunch stop about seven to eight miles in so we'll stop there for lunch. Get a sandwich and whatever else we want. I think that's about it for now.
came up that road next to the castle, made a right, and now we're headed on a country road. We came up this road and you want to be careful because there's a sign here that has you turning left. We just came up this hill and we're still climbing so we should get some more good views. We believe we're going to be up there on the top by those cell towers. The first cell towers we've seen, by the way, since we've been here. These look really old. We just came up that hill and I thought we were gonna be going left, but we're going right. Another left. We've done a lot of road walking today, not too many country roads. So this is day three for us. If you're doing this hike, day off. Today might be the day to take it if you're not up for road walking. It's still pretty, don't get me wrong. The views are still spectacular. I wouldn't miss it, but just FYI. So this was the place we were supposed to turn and, and eat. So you go down the hill here and across the street to the little convenience store. Sandwiches were good. He had sodas, water, fruit, quite a few things. And then now we're gonna head down here for the second time. Cause we went down the hill and realized we went too far and had to come back. So this is our second time doing this piece. cross over the bridge and then turn right in front of that white house right there. So I forgot to take a picture of the little place where we stopped for the sandwich. I showed you where to go down the hill. There's the church. Right across the church is that blue building. And the gentleman working there was very nice. His sandwiches were good. Because of COVID, he didn't have a whole lot of stuff, but he had a good an, a variety. Headed to Dingle. Uh, still road walking. But with a view. Can't complain about that. So just to give you some perspective, we were over by those cell towers few hours ago. Now we're here. We've got about seven more miles to do. The trail just went off road. Just when we thought we were gonna be hiking uh, that road all the way to town, we're not. So, 
Hi, cows. Don't mind us. Just came up from way down there where those girls are sitting. And now we're headed uh, down this pathway. We could use some breeze today. Lord, if you're listening, The sign. We just came out of here next to this house with this beautiful dog. We thought we were going um, left and it's right. Hi there. A spring coming out of the ground. That one doesn't have anything to hold on to. in the shade. The sun is too much for me. Another turn up the hill to another step over. There's a couple of places today that you have to watch for signs. Um, so you could miss them if you're just making assumptions about which way the trail should go. We just went over a step over. There was two step overs, one on the left and one on the right. The one on the left didn't have any signage. The one on the right had the arrows and so on. So just be aware of that. This is day three. Uh, Anna Skull to Dingle. This guy we named Dingle Dude. Actually, Lynn did. Back on the road again. Love that these plants are growing out of the side of this house. Here says we're going this way. Uphill. So here we go. Jingle Dude says turn. towards the ocean that at some point we're gonna turn and head up by that house and when we get up there we should be able to see the ocean because that's where we're
we're staying by the ocean. So you can see a car up there. We will see how close we are. He's moving the sheep. He's, look at them, waiting for direction. This way and we think up and over by that house or something like that. To the left, to the left, to the left, left, left. If I can take me going through this gate. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. We're almost there. Made it to the house on the hill. And this is their view. We walk, walked across pretty much the side of that hill over there. And again, out there uh, to the right of that big hill is where we came from on the other side of those cell towers. Beautiful walk today. We're just about done. We made it to the bay. I'm walking to town now. Huh. It's been a long day. And even though it's only about 60-ish degrees, it feels like 70 because that sun is beating down on us. We have 15 miles under our belt because of that uh, because we passed the deli, uh, we've got seven, almost 1,800 in elevation, and it's probably going to have taken us about seven hours to do 15 miles, which isn't too bad because we took a nice lunch break. breeze this afternoon after I asked for it so that was nice I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button to see more videos because we still have quite a few more days of walking bye for now we made it to town We're at this corner here, and we're gonna go in that direction. And the bank that we use, the ATM bank we use is down here, and it was only 2% instead of 13% at the other ATM, FYI. We are at the roundabout where the chart house is right over there across the street and we're headed 
that way to the Dingle Way. We came out of the parking lot here and we're just going to take the sidewalk because we do know that the Dingle Way comes through here right past our b, &B. So hopefully this is helpful. And the bathrooms are right here. You'll pass right by and across from the White Room and Murphy. directional sign. Oh, there's a Dingle Way sign. So yes, you do come this way. Okay, it's all cleared up. We've just come through um, town here along the harbor and so you continue along this way for the Dingle Way. B&B, which is right on the trail here. So from here, you'll just travel on to Ventry and then on to Dunquin.